hello guys uh, today in this video I'm gonna show you guys how you can overclock your CPU so I am having a core to quad core CPU which is around 10 years old but still get my job done I can still play games on that I can even play GTA 5 Far Cry 3 on that I'm not saying that I can get uh, around 60 FPS or something like that but it, uh, it is playable you know in 2018 and still using 2010 CPU it's kind of a awkward feeling but no it's working guys so let me get to the point so uh, how to overclock your CPU so let me show you my PC configuration first so here is my PC configuration So here is the Intel Core 2 quad core CPU and it uh, clocked at 2.4 GHz and I have installed 6 GB of RAM. This is my PC configuration. Let me show you the CPU-Z. So here is the Intel Core 2 quad core Q6600 and it is running at its base frequency 2.0. 39 it's around 2.4 gigahertz and I have a ASRock motherboard so to overclock your CPU at uh, might different steps in if you're having other board you know I'm having a ASRock motherboard so it's uh, might uh, easy for me to overclock and I don't think uh, every motherboard uh, every motherboard manufacturer gives you that uh, you know option to overlock, overclock your CPU so I'm having an ASRock motherboard and I can overclock it because I have the feature of that so let me show you first the benchmark okay. let me bench it let's see so it is giving me around 843.3 so I think I'm getting a you know good good scores. So this CPU is, uh, has uh, four threads and four cores. Let me benchmark it again. And still getting 840 scores and multi threads. Now. Let me get into the BIOS and show you how you can overclock it. I'm not going too much high, I'm going to overclock it around 2.9 or 3 GHz because I am running on my stock fan. Let me show you. You could see I'm running on my stock fan. So let me shut it down and get into the BIOS. So to get into a BIOS you have to press uh, the F2 key after the logo. So here I am in the BIOS. As you could see the complete details of my motherboard, device version, the processor type and processor speed right now is 3400 MHz which is 2.4 GHz. Okay. So if you can see I have the option is OC tweaker which means overclocking tweaker and in that you can uh, you know overclock your uh, CPU so come down and if you can see the overclocking mode you have to set it this on the manual and hit enter now you are in the manual right now it's uh, current frequency is 266 megahertz and if you multiply it to the multiplier which is uh, 9 you will get the actual frequency which is 2.4 gigahertz but i have to uh, you know i have to overclock it to around 2.9 or 3 gigahertz so i have to type i have to type 2 
I'm sorry, I have to do 3, 6, uh, 326. And if you are not sure that uh, how much the number you have to type and how much frequency you will get, you can simply uh, take a calculator and calculate it. If I'm so like I'm typing 236, 226, sorry, just type 226 and multiply it with the multiply, you will get the actual frequency. After typing, just simply hit enter and uh, I don't have to, you know, increase or decrease the multipliers. Simply go to the exit option and you will have to save changes and exit and hit enter. Now your PC will boot up if everything goes well. Here I got the light. Here we got the logo. I heard the beep sound. I'm just skipping this uh, boot. So we are successfully put into the windows guys and uh, my PC is running from last uh, 5 minutes and I haven't found any issues it is quite uh, you know it is quite uh, stable and let me show you how much frequency we are getting right now how do the properties and let's see so as you can see this is our base frequency and this is our overclocking frequency and we are getting 2.9 GHz which is very close to 3 GHz and this is our base frequency so we are running on this frequency right now so let me show you in the CPUZ how much it scores so right now it's running at 2.9 MHz and let's see the benchmark scores benchmark look at these numbers guys at previous we are getting around you know 850 something scores now my PC scores 1036.9 it is quite stable <coughs> and if you want to overclock it more you know around 3.2 or 3.4 gigahertz I will recommend you so I think that's enough for this video guys hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, in my next video I'm going to show you how you can overclock the GPU also so thanks for watching this video guys